Hello and welcome to Whiskey Resource. This is Friday the 1st of May, so it is a special or limited bottle tasting tonight. So I put on Twitter uh, a poll of four um, rarer uh, limited whiskies, and um, the vote came through unanimously for Ardmore. I'll bring that closer. Ardmore, 16 year old, um, distilled May 2000 and um, bottled in June 2016. It is a Dun Douglas Lang um, independent bottling of the Ardmore. Bottled at 44.5% ABV. Um, you can see by that really pale colour, that gives away that it's got no colouring in it and it's also non-chill filtered. Um, I won't be doing a value score and I um, will more than likely not be doing an overall score at the end of this, but who knows? Because I've not had it before. In fact, this was only uh, limited to an outturn, I believe, of uh, 86 bottles. Yeah, 84 bottles. Now, bizarrely, there is no tear strip within the wax from this one. So, I just have to give it a good turn there and I've got a bit of uh, wax on the table, but that's fine. Okay, so in the glass, just a nice small pour here because I want to enjoy this later by leaving it to breathe. You can see it's only it's only a small pour. So what else can we say about this? Um, there's a, there's a little bit of information still on the internet. Um, if you do a Google search of this, so it's an Ardmore 16 year old 2000, um, cask number 11168 uh, by um, Douglas Lang. It's part of their old particular range. Or old, yeah, but particular. And it's um, an outturn of 84 bottles. That's really all you can see on the internet about it. I did look at the Douglas Lang website. I can't really see any um, history bottlings on their website at all. Uh, so I couldn't find anything from them. But that's that's quite all right because this is a, a limited bottling. So we'll see what like on the nose. So it's coming across with an Isla type of um, peatiness. That smoke. If I was to say which distillery from Isla it would be reminiscent of, I would say it'd be close to an Ardbeg, the Ardbeg 10 maybe, because it's got that kind of meaty quality that Ardbeg, Ardbeg has. Now the the smoke intensity isn't huge it's there i mean it's dominant but it's not it's not in your face camp smoke campfire smoke little whiffs of sea spray maybe tiny bit of vanilla going on there i can see this is one that's going to have to sit in the, the glass for a good 15 20 minutes um, to open up, so this isn't really going to be a true, a true reflection. So on the palette, so the the peat the smoke. It doesn't really present itself too much on the on the start as it hits the the, um, the palate. It's got a little bit of fruit to it. It's honey. Touch of meatiness to it about it, but not overly meaty. A little bit of malt. It's the the finish is where a bit of spice kicks in, and that. Um, smokiness starts to the mid palate the mid the mid part of the the tasting towards the finish that smoke kicks in and tad a little bit of 
chocolate. Like a milky chocolate, I've seen. So, it's quite a bit of water that's gone in that. So this is a uh, from a refill cask. Now they're not really saying much more about that, so I'm going to go with that. It's a refill um, bourbon cask. So there's spice there, and there's definitely vanilla, and that smoke's a bit more prominent with the water. I think some of those oils have kicked off. Very meaty, very meaty. Hmm. With water, citrus. I'm getting citrus fruit. The meat. It's like ham joint, bacon. Mm. That's an enjoyable, enjoyable drink. Go to enjoy drinking these, but I will be leaving this to um, to breathe to open up because it deserves it. I've not had Ardmore before, so are they all like this? Are they all good? Having eighty six out of that uh, cask isn't a big outturn. So it's quite a, a limited range. Fortunately, I think the only place you're going to pick this up is um, at an auction, unfortunately. Well, that's it. I'm seven minutes, so I'll leave it there. Yeah, later.